If I asked everybody here, which of your five senses do you value the most? Almost all of you would tell me sight. And I would agree with you. Indeed, seeing allows us to learn, to socialize, to detect danger, and even to create memories. But have you ever wondered why peeling an onion makes us cry? Well, it is due to the presence of a huge amount of nerve fibers in our cornea, which we can see here in green. The cornea is the outermost layer of your eye, which is, by the way, the most sensitive structure in a whole body. Any disruption of this innervation is a pathology known as neurotrophic keratitis, or NK. NK manifests itself by a decrease in corneal sensitivity and leads to a loss of vision. For the moment, there is no treatment available for this pathology. And that's where my thesis comes in. Five out of 10,000 individuals are estimated to be suffering from NK. I say estimated because a lot of people with NK are not included in the statistics. For people with NK associated with illnesses such as diabetes, multiple sclerosis, or others not yet identified, the cornea is not even part of their checkup. I am working on different transgenic mice to look into how innervation is set up in the cornea and to determine how its regrowth can be promoted. I am also using tears collecting from patients to understand how tear glands interact with innervation. Indeed, the composition of our tears changes physiologically in order to heal our cornea. Yes, thanks to our tears, we are able to automedicate. Except, that is, when innervation deficiency sets in. My project will open up new multitude of possibilities in order to detect NK earlier, to develop new treatments, and thus to provide better patient care by preserving their sight. Even while coping with a not yet treatable condition, people with NK will at least be able to keep their eyesight. I am part of a team that works from the fundamental to the clinical aspect of the research. This means more concrete perspective that will benefit not only ophthalmological research, but first and foremost, the patients themselves. I hope my project has managed to put a gleam in your eye.